It has only been 37 years since Bangladesh gained its independence from Pakistan and became a country in its own right. The day is marked on the calendar in Bangladesh and celebrated wholeheartedly. But what about those of us who are living so far from our home country and living here in Britain? Are we all aware of it? Should we all be aware of it? Um, I think uh, it's, uh, there was, I think, a war. Uh, that's all I know, I'm sorry. It's because of Pakistan, they were trying to take over our country, so um, Bangladesh then had a war and we Bangladesh won. What are our thoughts on Victory Day, the birth of Bangladesh? Network Bangla went to explore the thoughts of British Bangladeshis in the UK on Victory Day and find the answers. I've done nothing really, because we ain't been taught in school or in the library, there's not, really not, like, not much to learn about it, because we ain't been really taught that much about anything. Well, my parents have told me stuff about um, Independence Day, but I'm not really, I haven't, I don't really know any proper facts about it. No, I don't know nothing about it. Growing up in the United States, my parents have been a great influence on me about continuing the Bangladeshi culture despite the threat of assimilation. Basically, they've told me how I am the f first generation Bangladeshi after the 16th of December 1971, and it gives me um, a sense of pride. What exactly happened on 16th December 1971? What is the importance of this state to Bengalis? The struggle for independence can be traced back centuries. On the 26th of March 1971, Sheikh Mujibir Rahman, leader of the East Pakistan Party, the Awami League, made a declaration of independence. This marked the beginning of the Bangladesh Liberation War, which lasted nine months from March 26 to December 16, 1971. I mean, basically, I'm going to talk about the first time. I'm going to talk about the first time. So, in April, I'm going to talk about the first time. 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 I'm going এবং ছেলে যারা তাদের সবাইকে ধরে ধরে নিয়ে যাচ্ছিল তারপরে মিলিটারি অফিসার একজন আমার আব্বার যে সেই ক্লোজ ফ্রেন্ড বড় ভাইয়ের মতো দেখতে উনি দুজনকে পাশাপাশি লাইন করেছে এবং আমার আব্বার বন্ধুকে প্রথমে শুট করলেন শুট করার পরে ইউ নো হি ফেল তখন আমার আব্বার টার্ন আসছে নেক্সট তখন আব্বাকে তখন জিজ্ঞেস করা হলো যে বলা হলো যে তুমি কালেমা পড়তে থাকো and Abba Chow blindfolded, Oya was Tajore Jore Laila Hila Lahu Mahamad Rasulullah Porchen. Tokhon, Uishamae, click Kolo, a Bonduk army officer, Kintukono Bonduke on a Guli Chilona. Tokhon, Unitako army officer, the Hanavan Utunko reload Kuchilo. Tokhon, luckily, fortunately, Dalari act up when I'm at the Shanghai act of Mehrbani, Hotat Kore, Tokhon Bihari act officer driver. शेयर की अपन आप बाकी आगे थे कि चीन तो तो नहीं तो हम दौड़ती हैं शिता को नहीं आर मिलिट्री अफसर के बोलो जाए ये ना किसी रहता है नहीं ये लगा उन्हें भालो काट स्टेट्स कर रहे हैं। Obviously during the time of the war as well the the many women who were raped brutalized many people who lost their lives many incidents where the intelligence of Bangladesh were were killed just because they would have been of benefit to Bangladesh as a nation and this you know makes us what we are today. We are Bangladeshi, we are British, but uh, this is our heritage and we must learn about this. With their election victory rejected, along with the rights of East Pakistan and Bangladesh in economic deprivation, the leaders of the Awami League were forced to fight for political recognition. The Pakistani army embarked on what may be termed as one of history's worst genocides, where nearly three million innocent people were killed not to mention the sexual abuse of many women and children to silence those who fought for their rights. I was told nothing about it. I mean, it's one of the biggest genocides in recent history, but it's relatively unknown by the majority of the world. Um, and I'm ashamed to say by a lot of Bengalis as well, especially the younger generation. Um, you get taught a lot about other holocausts and other genocides and the importance to learn from them, but not so much about the war crimes that happened in 71. The question about, or with regards to the, to the war criminals um, of 1971, um, the people that assisted the, the Pakistani army, um, I think personally these people should be brought to justice. On 16 December, 
Pakistan surrendered and Bangladesh achieved victory. This was, however, at the loss of the lives of millions of innocent people, in particular the systematic killing of many innocent lecturers, students and other intellectuals only two days prior to the surrender. The importance of the war and the importance of the freedom that has been achieved and the bloodshed that went into achieving this freedom, and I respect that very much. But I don't think there is sufficient amount of thought in me at the moment to understand much about it. On Victory Day, we should celebrate the win and freedom of Bangladesh achieved by the struggle and sacrifice by many. Are there enough resources that provide us with knowledge of the atrocities of 1971? Um, the experience of all these um, um, historic important, uh, historically important dates. Um, based in Bangladesh, we, we have had um, loads of awareness programs um, through the television, um, through our schools and colleges. We have had different events. Um, we, had to part, we, um, we did contribute ourselves um, and also went to watch all these programs. There are lessons in our school, so you know, there are Bengali lessons, so we will probably learn it from there. I don't think so. I don't think many kids know about Independence Day like myself as well. So yeah, I think it's good if children do and kids are aware of their surroundings and what their country is actually about. My personal experience has really come down from my father's experience uh, uh, in Bangladesh. Uh, my mother's side of the family who were affected uh, during uh, those times and really through the media, uh, through newspapers and through articles and what you get is a wide perspective and sometimes it's very difficult really to uh, translate that. Itihash, Oitijjo, Ebon Otitke, Moktijuddhi Itihashke, Shatik Bhabe Tule Dharar Jonno, Ingriji Te, Amra Shohojlobho, Boi, Kimba, Amar Tumon Haje, প্রমাণ ন দলিল তৈরি করতে পারি তাহলে এবং সেটা ব্যাপকভাবে সকলের মাঝে ছড়িয়ে দিতে পারি তাহলে এই সমস্যাটার অনেকটা সমাধান করা যাবে এবং এই গ্যাপটাকে খানিকটা কমিয়ে আনা যাবে What are Bangladesh is in the UK doing to maintain knowledge of Bangladesh Victory Day in their organizations Bangladesh is in our roots so we should be proud of our heritage and culture most importantly, we must remember those who lost their lives and the struggle of others that has allowed you and me to call ourselves a Bangladeshi. People think, you know, we've come to this country, um, uh, we're British, uh, uh, we're gonna, obviously we're going to live here, we're probably going to die here, our children are going to grow up here, but you can never forget your uh, roots, your heritage, and you should be proud of your heritage. And if you're not proud of your heritage, then to be honest with you, um, you have problems with your identity and you can't be confident in what you're doing currently. Uh, this is the initiative all the parents should take uh, and um, uh, inform our gener generation and to get share the benefit of the independent with every, every, every one of our future generations. As one of the many organizations aimed at helping the Bengali community, one of the aims of Network Bangla is to raise awareness of such cultural heritage and identity. One of our aims is to work with all the other Bengali related organizations in the UK such as Silet in London, um, Brit Bangla, um, Emerald, Swadhinata Trust, etc. Um, we will look at ways to work together and raise awareness with the younger generation and other important Bengali dates in the calendar such as Ekushe February, Independence Day is about and the reasons why they should know about this, what is important and also we would um, look to um, our, um, make everyone aware of by look, speaking to older generation um, such as people who have ex had experience from that time um, we will uh, go to them and ask them about what their experience was um, and to, so this will help us know what exactly happened and um, we can sh pass this information on to the younger people. It has become apparent that there is a lack of knowledge and resources to provide such knowledge amongst the younger Bangladeshi community. This is where Network Bangla hopes to enrich our community with such information and knowledge of our heritage and work with others to do so.